I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Happy birthday, John the Baptist. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Get the app, it's on iTunes, Google, and Amazon, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. So, a little math, Christmas is six months away. Mary was... Um, we celebrated the, um, Mary's, uh, 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 the Annunciation, the announcement of, of the baby in her womb. We celebrated that three months ago, which, puts, uh, which would put Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, in the sixth month. So if Christmas is December 25th, then the birth of John the Baptist would be six months previous, today, the 24th of June. But we don't do saints days in order to um, get the day right. It doesn't really matter what day we celebrate John the Baptist, as long as we understand who we're celebrating, or better, who, who we're celebrating, whom who we're celebrating is pointing to. How's that work in English? I don't know. John always points us to Jesus. That's what he does. John the Baptist is John the Baptizer. Today is not Baptismus. It's the celebration of the birth of John the Baptist. One of two saints whose birth is their day and not their death. It was traditionally understood that the day that a saint dies would be their um, passing to death to life day. And that that would be the day they would celebrate except for Mary and John the Baptist. Mary, for reasons that we'll deal with on St. Mary's Day, and John the Baptist, because, well, his birth is tied to Jesus. He was in the womb when Mary announced to, to, to his mama, Elizabeth, that she was with child by the Holy Spirit, not by man. She was a virgin. And remember, John, who only points to Jesus, that's what he does, Leapt in the womb. He leapt in the womb because he'd heard the voice of the mother of God. Theotokos, Mary. John the Baptist is the greatest prophet born of women, but yet least in the kingdom of God. The one who looked at Jesus and said, he must decrease, I must decrease, he must increase. Who looked at Jesus and said, behold the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The one who baptized Jesus saw the dove, heard the voice, this is my beloved son with whom I'm well pleased. That no matter what he did, what he said, where he went, from prison itself, pointed to, magnified, and directs us to Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Even when John the Baptist is rotting in prison and sends his disciples to Jesus asking, are you the one to come or should we look for another? Even then, he's pointing us to Jesus. Like he's pointing them to Jesus. So what you learn from St. John's day, his birthday, you learn to look to Jesus. His birthday is six months before it. His finger is pointing to Jesus and saying, behold the Lamb of God. And he does a little leap in the womb to celebrate Jesus in the womb. John is a big, giant anti-abortion symbol. But more than that, he's a big, giant finger pointing, directing our attention to Jesus, the Son of God, who loves us and gave up himself for us. Blessed John the Baptist's birthday to you and to yours. Ambassador George Borkart and a sleeping Thor. And this has been another Higher Things video short.